Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at some of the new features in the beta release of the Tentacle Track E firmware and the updated Tentacle app. Uh, yes, these are in beta, so a couple of quick things to get out of the way. First off, to try these new features, you're gonna need to download and install the Track E beta firmware version 1.1.6 or later on your Track E and then enroll in the beta testing program using your iOS or Android phone to get the beta app. Now, I've put links to where you can find all of this in the description below, so if you wanna try it out, have a look. Second, this is beta software, so please don't just use this uh, in your production workflow until you've had a chance to really just test the snot out of it. I've recorded a couple of strange behaviors since using it, um, but nothing that's been a showstopper, but you know, who knows, right? Okay, so let's dig in. The first big news feature, of course, is the ability to monitor the tentacles recording from your smartphone via the app. Now, since the device was launched, you've always been able to monitor uh, the audio using headphones plugged into the trackie, which always hasn't been convenient. But now they've taken this to the next level, providing monitoring right from the app. That's right, you heard it right. You can plug in your headphones into your phone and monitor your track ease audio recording. So how does it work? Let's have a look at my setup here. I'm recording the audio for this video directly into the Tentacle Track E in 32-bit float mode using the Sennheiser MKE 600 connected directly into the Track E using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter TRS cable. Now, the 600 is a great mic for this as it sounds really good and doesn't require phantom power. Now, I've also tested this with the little Rode video mic NTG and it works great as well as with lavalier microphones. Over here on my phone, I'm running the beta version of the Tentacle app and I have headphones connected into my phone using the little Apple headphone audio adapter. Now, when you tap on the track E, you're presented with this new speaker icon. And when activated, you will be able to route your audio to your headphones. Now, you can also set this up to route audio to the phone's speaker. I think that the monitoring sound quality uh, is just good enough to ensure you're gonna get a decent quality recording. It certainly isn't up to the quality of the much more expensive professional wireless microphones and recorders, um, but it's about the same quality you're gonna get from plugging your headphones directly into the trackie. That said, there is one big issue that I wanna talk about a little bit more later in the video, but let's cover a couple of the other really nice features that they've implemented inside the app. You know, a smart feature that they've implemented is the option to hold down the stop recording button for a few seconds to stop recording. This is an awesome feature and it's gonna prevent me from inadvertently stopping recording during takes. And if you're not a fan of this feature, they've given you the option to toggle this mode on or off. So they've also added a handy record button that I don't remember seeing here on the home screen before that will trigger the recording on all your trackie recording devices at once rather than having to menu dive into each one and start recording. This is going to come in handy right now because I want to use the second trackie to demonstrate the big issue I mentioned earlier and that is latency over Bluetooth. Because the transmission from the track E to your phone is over Bluetooth, there is quite a bit of latency between the actual sound being recorded and uh, what you're going to hear monitored from the app. And while I guess that's to be expected because it is Bluetooth, uh, it can be just a little bit disorienting. When I first tried to do this, I used Bluetooth headphones and the double latency uh, was just crazy. It made it really hard to use. So using wired headphones are much better. So why don't we have a listen? So for this part of the demonstration, I've disconnected my headphones uh, from my phone and connected a second Tentacle Trackie recorder to monitor the audio. I've plugged my headphones directly into the second Trackie to be able to monitor it from there. Now, given that both recorders have exactly the same time code, 
we should be able to hear and measure the exact amount of latency in our editing software. So let's head on over to Final Cut Pro and have a look and have a listen. Hey everybody. Okay, so we're over here in Final Cut Pro and we've uh, loaded up our video and our two audio tracks and we've synchronized those uh, using timecode. Um, and then what I've done is I've just, you can see here, this is our video track. This is our audio track, uh, our main audio track. And then this is the technical track key that we attach to our phone to record the audio monitoring. And all I've done is I've just lined up the waveforms here so they're perfectly aligned. And we can just by taking a look at the source time code, take a look and see how far off they are. So you can see here, these two are perfectly aligned. Um, and to align the waveforms here in the second one, we had to move uh, 12 frames. So at uh, 24 frames a second, we're about a half a second of latency. So there's about a half a second of latency um, between the uh, recording and the transmission over Bluetooth to the phone. Well, that wraps it up for this video. For those times when I can't use wireless, I've really come to love using the trackies since they fit perfectly into our, our entire tentacle-based timecode workflow. Uh, the addition of in-app monitoring uh, is a really awesome new feature. Um, but I'm really interested in what you think about the tentacle tracky and what you think about these new features. So please uh, feel free to leave comments uh, below. And I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, uh, please click that like button and uh, subscribe to get notification to whenever I get around to posting uh, our next video. So thank you and bye for now.